Hello, I'm Kinana Yasin. I'm going to share this case of a 50-year-old male without any previous medical or surgical history who presented to clinic after having three episodes of migratory polyarthritis. His review of system was unremarkable except for chronic back pain, stiffness, and one episode of redness and pain in his eyes, and he was told it was iritis. At the time of the clinic visit, he was on 10 mg of prednisone, his active smoker, no history of drug abuse, sexually transmitted disease, or family history of autoimmune disorders. His physical examination was unremarkable except for mild tenderness in both ankles without any clear effusion. Initial evaluation revealed leukocytosis, thrombocytosis, elevated inflammatory markers, positive rheumatoid factor, and normal kidney function. Plain films showed soft tissue swelling in his feet, degenerative changes in lumbar spine without any erosive changes. Initial diagnosis was felt to be consistent with palindromic rheumatism versus early rheumatoid arthritis and plan was to start him on methotrexate. However, at the time of his follow-up visit in two weeks, he was noted to have acute elevation of serum creatinine up to 3.4 comparing to his baseline of 1.2. Urine analysis showed hematuria and proteinuria, Microscopic examination showed many RBC cows suggestive of glomerulonephritis. He was admitted directly. Further evaluation showed positive CNCAN PR3. He underwent kidney biopsy that showed post-immune glomerulonephritis consistent with encavasculitis. An OCT exam was consistent with episcleritis. He received pulse steroid and started on rituximab infusion. This case highlights that 25% of NK-associated vasculitis cases may present initially with non-specific symptoms, such as migratory polyarthritis, fatigue, and fever. NK-associated vasculitis may share many clinical features and laboratory findings, including positive ANA, rheumatoid factor, and elevated inflammatory markers with different autoimmune disorders, such as rheumatoid arthritis and others. Hence, increased awareness of such presentation among rheumatologists is needed for early diagnosis and management to prevent any chronic damage.